Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collection. Today, I want to share with you guys another fragrance. This is by the house of Fasanablu, and this is Fasanablu. Now, uh, you'll see this pronounced many different ways on other from other YouTube influencers. Um, I basically just looked up uh, the actual term, uh, Fasanablu. It's F A. Uh, C-O-N-N-A-B-L-E. This is an Eau de Toilette. Um, this is from uh, a French house. Fastenal Blue is a French house. And there's not a lot of information on this company. You guys know that if you guys have been watching me for a while, I am a I absolutely love a good quality uh, cheapie when it comes to fragrances. Um, now I know, and let's get to the argument here about you, you get what you pay for. Um, not always true, okay? Um, I think there's thousands of different fragrances out there you can get that are under $20 that are fantastic. Again, fragrances are very subjective. You may not like the smell of a fragrance, but for me, if and, and I, I tell you guys this because um, if you like watching me for smart home tech or watches, you found something that I, you found some sort of bond, something in common with my taste, right? And everybody's different. Everybody has different tastes. When it comes to fragrances, for me, I don't have a super skilled nose when it comes to being able to pinpoint all these different notes. And to be honest with you guys, when I smell a fragrance, a lot of times I get different vibes from the fragrance depending on when I'm wearing it. I mean, when I first got this, like a madman, ripped it out of the packaging, psh, sprayed it right on, on my arm real quick. And being outside in the cold weather here is about 40 degrees. Um, I'll tell you right off the bat, my initial uh, thoughts were this is straight up uh, like a powerhouse 80s, 90s uh, barbershop kind of vibe. It, it, it reminded me, and it, everybody's different, but for me, scents uh, are they instantly trigger uh, like a memory, you know, or a feeling. It's an emotional, I get an emotional response. And I don't mean emotional like, oh, I'm gonna start crying or I'm gonna start jumping in for joy, but I get a response. It triggers something in my mind, sort of a memory. It, that might be just a uh, maybe a memory of just going to getting my hair cut as a young guy in like an old Italian barber shop, right? Um, it, it just, you know, maybe it was uh, some memory that's, I can't even really like pinpoint that just reminds me of something. Uh, and throughout our lives, you know, I think that with most people, um, I think that, uh, you know, that scent really imprints uh, on your emotions and the imprints on your, in your brain. So it's very powerful. Um, I was watching Breaking Bad the other night, and Walter White kind of explained uh, how. Uh, and again, <laughs> uh, you know, a much a much more scientific explanation I'm giving you guys, but explained uh, what actually happens there in your brain uh, when we associate different tastes and smells um, with memories. And so it was pretty good. You could probably Google it, find it, you know. But he explained why that happens because Gus was discussing uh, how. When he takes a, a sip of this you know, old Chilean soup, this fish stew, it instantly brings him back to his childhood. And I have that same kind of reaction, I probably you guys do too, uh, with scents. So, uh, for instance, I always say, uh, you know, Eternity reminds me of my sister's friend Ellen. I went to junior prom with her. She always wore Eternity. Uh, that was the first time I smelled Eternity. So it always reminds me, uh, and it wasn't a romantic relationship, but... It just reminds me of that person, just like other fragrances remind me of different friends that I've had over the years. Uh, and again, different foods, different scents, so you guys get the point. So with this, I instantly was taken to sort of like an old barbershop vibe. Um, there was something familiar with this, and something that, one of the fragrances, the one fragrance that I have that I cannot wear. And that's saying a lot, because I have some pretty daring fragrances by Zoologist, I have ones by PK Parfums, I have ones by Imaginary Authors, all kinds of fragrances, some of which are all pretty daring, right? If you guys have smelled any of the real crazy niche stuff. Um, and there's only one I can't wear, and it's Remy Latour's 25th Anniversary Edition Cigar. There's something in that fragrance, I just, it's really off-putting for me. Um, I've tried to wear it multiple times, I cannot. It's, it's a scrubber. Other people may find it very pleasant. Um, and so with this, as soon as I smelled it, I got kind of a similar vibe. And I'll pull up the notes here on maybe why that happened. But as that, the, the fragrance kind of toned down a little bit or settled down a little bit, um, and again, it wasn't off-putting for me. It was just was reminding me of that fragrance. And it reminded me of what you'd smell in like a, in a men's barber shop. Uh, again, when guys talk about barber shop vibe fragrances, I'm not saying that you should associate that with this fragrance. I'm just saying that's what where my mind went. Uh, so right off the bat, this fragrance is kind of a, a woody floral. And so um, I, you guys know, I mean, I've, when I've done reviews before talking about colognes, I, um, you know, I, I give you guys the best idea of what I'm smelling. I give you guys what I get from the fragrance. And again, if you like 
fragrances that I like, that we maybe we have similar tastes, uh, then you might like this fragrance. I can tell you that I love this fragrance right off the bat, so let me just first start there. Uh, this is definitely a fragrance that uh, I love, you know. Um, but then again, remember, I'm pretty open-minded when it comes to fragrances. There's a lot of fragrances I really love. What I love about this most of all is the price. This can be had for $19.99. Again, link is in the description on Amazon, uh, $19.99, shipped to your door for a 3.4 ounce or 100 mils. So let's just talk about the notes here. We'll just discuss it a little bit and I'll, I'll give you guys my two cents, right? So um, let me just show you guys again the bottle in case you are, you know, a person who, you know, gets a lot of joy out of looking at the bottle. Uh, it's kind of like a frosted glass, uh, a lot of gold on it, which is great. You have Fascinable right in the label there in that kind of goldish, um, cursive, goldish plate or nameplate uh, with that script writing or cursive writing. Uh, this little kind of nipple right here uh, was actually where the string was attached for the cap. And you have kind of like this, uh, these grooves in the front. And the sprayer is kind of a very similar sprayer if you've sprayed Sauvage. It's kind of a long like that. It's not just a little squirt. It definitely douses you with a very fine mist. The atomizer really breaks down the fragrance where it definitely more of a mist than it is like a squirt. So that's just something if you uh, you know know what I'm talking about, then, then if you have a lot of fragrances, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, so as far as the notes here, right off the bottle here, um, which is a little bit hard to read here, but there it is. So again, this is a tester. Uh, so top notes are mandarin, pepper, peppermint, and rosemary. Uh, heart notes are lavender, geranium, and nutmeg. And the base notes are sandalwood, cedar, and oak moss. So what do I mainly, let me just refresh here a little bit. Now I've put a lot of this on today. So what do I mainly get with this? So you definitely get, again, a woody floral. Um, not to be confused with like some of your standard like ouds and woods like that. It's definitely, um, very bright, I would say. Um, it's very sophisticated. Uh, this is not the kind of fragrance that you're probably going to find on a younger guy. Again, gentlemen, young men, uh, you wear what you want to wear. You can wear whatever you want. Um, I don't believe that this fragrance is more geared for this or that. I'm just stating that this fragrance is a little more sophisticated, and that's just my, you know, interpretation of fragrances or, or my, um, my, um, I guess my explanation of fragrances. When I think of fragrances, just to give you an example of like. CK1, we're going old school here, uh, or fragrances like Aqua de Jo, or really safe fragrances, um, you know, uh, Creed Aventus, fragrances like that. Uh, a lot of your, I would say, if I have to make a judgment call here, I would think that younger guys tend to wear things that are a little more fruity, a little more, um, I guess, what I would consider fun. Uh, again, and take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, um, whereas fragrances like this, I kind of picture more of a, of, of a gentleman, more of a guy who's older. Um, again, young dudes, you can rock whatever you want, just like older guys can rock whatever they want. I don't think there's an age really with fragrances, but this is the kind of thing, the kind of fragrance that I would expect on a guy in a nice suit, uh, you know, in a business workplace setting. Um, as far as workplace settings, again, wear what you want. I, I always wear whatever I want. I really don't care uh, who it likes it or doesn't like it. Uh, not the saying I want to shove what only what I like down people's throats. I wouldn't go and douse myself with a, with a fragrance that I know is extremely strong, but I might go a little lighter on the trigger if I know I'm going to be more of an enclosed space and maybe these people have more sensitive noses. Um, I never really... I don't think there's a, such a thing as a sensitive nose. I think there's a sensitive person. And so uh, what bothers one person may not bother another. Um, I've never been around anybody where I was like, whoa, that's really strong. I can tell you, though, there are, I shouldn't say anybody, but there are fragrances that are women's fragrances that you we've all smelled them, lady in the department store, lady in the restaurant, where certain fragrances, depending on the notes, a certain note might be, Maybe not off-putting, but you might not, maybe, maybe it's not your favorite. So certain fragrances are more like, I guess, sharp, right? And so I have smelled fragrances uh, that were for women uh, that, you know, when you smell it's like, whoa, that's not, it's not due to the volume of fragrance. It's just that particular note in the fragrance that I don't like. Um, again, I am pretty open-minded, so that rarely happens. But uh, there are some people out there who are like, complain about everything, whine about everything, everything bothers them. It's always a complaint. Uh, so those are the kind of people who might have an issue. In my last job, I worked in kind of a larger environment, indoors, 
um, not too close to being close to people at times, uh, but and a lot of people. But um, I've never had any kind of issues. And for me, I always find that fragrances. I really, no matter what I wear, um, I always find that I always need to keep applying. So I don't know if it's just my skin or just the fact that I get used to the fragrance. Again, sitting in my office right now, I'm getting a different vibe from this fragrance than if I were to go outside uh, with the fresh air. Uh, you'll I'll definitely smell it more. It'll take on more of that. Uh, more of that gentleman vibe, right? So let me just go to Fragrantica here and it's gonna give you guys maybe in case you haven't smelled this, uh, maybe you smelled other fragrances. I always want you guys to be able to maybe have something to compare this to. Um, you know, when we're blind by sometimes can be a little bit scary, right? Um, especially if it's something that uh, is expensive. You know, you go spending $70 for a bottle of cologne and that's not even really expensive. You want to make sure that you're going to get something that you're going to like. Um, I always recommend if it's a, if it's a higher dollar value, a higher dollar value item and you're more sensitive or you're more picky when it comes to fragrances that you don't blind buy. Uh, you're always safe with ones you're going to find at a department store. Uh, but there are some really great fragrances out there that are super cheap that are I mean, when it comes to value, nobody's going to, you, you can't smell value. Like, I mean, I can tell you, you smell good, you're going to smell money, baby. But, um, I mean, as far as being able to put a price on it, I don't know. Tom Ford, Creed, uh, you know, ultimately, if you like the way it smells, if you like the way somebody smells, it doesn't matter if it's $5 or $500, right? So, uh, that's my opinion. So, this has been compared uh, to a couple different fragrances. One, uh, one of their own. Uh, the second uh, is a... Cruiser by Lomani, and there's not a lot of comparison to those. Remember, this is kind of a, I think, a newer fragrance, and this is kind of a fragrance that is not really hyped up. We know how it goes on YouTube when you have a fragrance that's really good, and some of these big time YouTubers hype it. Uh, you know, the price goes up. Look at look at a fragrance like uh, Midnight in Paris. It used to be thirty bucks. It's like two hundred now. So, uh, and I'm not part of my bottle. That's a great fragrance. But again, uh, you can get this right now, nineteen ninety nine shipped, and it's a great fragrance. Does not smell like 1999. I can tell you that. When I think of fragrances that smell 1999, I honestly think of fragrances that are like you know. And again, these aren't bad. I don't want you guys to, to get the wrong idea. Uh, like bod sprays, uh, Axe, and people sometimes some of these snobs out there, and there are fragrance snobs. Um, Axe is not a bad. Axe is a great company. Uh, the nose behind Axe, I forget who it is, but uh, she's done many many fragrances. Very well known, very famous, uh, very very talented. Uh, so remember. Remember, you know, that don't be judgmental is what I'm trying to say. Keep an open mind when it comes to fragrances and have fun with this. Again, you may have a fragrance that you do not like, right? But depending on who you are, you may be open-minded, you may be closed-minded, but I want to try to encourage you to be open-minded. Again, always buy what you like, wherever you like, be respectful of other people, uh, because everybody likes something different. I, myself, am very open-minded, so I love, I blind buy shit all the time. So, um... Again, this hasn't been really reviewed all that much. Uh, honestly, I first discovered this in the last couple weeks. I've kind of dropped off fragrance reviews for a while, and I go in waves, as you guys know. Um, some of the other fragrances that this is compared to is Opus 1870 by Pan Halligans. I've reviewed many Pan Halligans colognes. Um, I can't say that I've ever smelled anything like this. I may not have smelled that one. I, I don't really remember, to be honest with you. CK Free, and then there's a, a Loam um, by Yves Saint Laurent. Now I can tell you, this doesn't smell anything like Loam. And sometimes you have to take these, um, these this fragrance reminds me of on Fragrantica with a grain of salt. When you have maybe 300 people, 200 people, 100 people telling you, yeah, this might smell like something, it may very well remind, remember, try to keep that as, uh, as that um, interpretation or, or that, um, um, that reminder, so to speak. Sorry, I'm trying. It's hot as hell in here. Um, as, try to take that with a grain of salt when people say, oh, it smells like this, because everybody's going to smell some different, and it's it's really um, kind of up to your nose, right? So you may smell this and say, yeah, it reminds me of Loam. Uh, there's other fragrances I've reviewed most recently that people have said, oh, yeah, this reminds them of, of the one, or this reminds them of this and that. And I can tell you certain times I kind of get that comparison, and at times it is a completely different fragrance. Remember, when people recommend these or, or say, hey, this reminds me of this, that's not meant to be a replacement or a clone. Remember, clones smell exactly or almost exactly as some of the more expensive fragrances out there. So, like Lomani, uh, AB, like Lomani, uh, was it, AB Spirit? 
Creed Aventus. You know, you have your uh, Tuscan Leather. You have some, several other fragrances that I've reviewed before. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank right now. Uh, but uh, anyway, you guys get the point that just take that with a grain of salt for what this smells like. Um, the, the nice thing about it is, of, again, with my resume here, um, I've smelled over 300, 400 colognes. I have over 150. I can tell you that sometimes I'll get a fragrance that is an inexpensive cheapie, and I'll be like, yep, that smells like this fragrance in a different bottle, right? There's a couple by like, um, a couple uh, um, Tom Ford Tuscan leathers that I have that are basically like, you you know, it's a different name, wooden, wooden leather by this company. It smells just like Tuscan leather or it smells like another clone. So remember, a lot of times you're going to find companies who are cloning fragrances and just putting their own name on it. And other times you have things that are original. And I, I do feel like this is pretty original and I don't really feel like I've smelled anything quite like this before. Um, and I encourage you, as I always do when I do a fragrance review, is to go on for granted because see what other people have had to say about it and just make your best guess on whether or not you might want to try it. Nice thing about it, it's 20 bucks. I mean, and with fragrances like this, there's such a big fragrance community that, you know, if you don't like it, I'm sure you can find somebody to sell it to pretty easily. But um, I love it. So uh, so let's just, so right off the bat, when it comes to, uh, you know, the presentation, I don't, because this is a tester, I don't have the container. But if you've seen Remy Latour uh, cigar, they come in kind of that kind of oval tin. Uh, this comes in exactly the same oval tin. It just says Fastenable by Fastenable on it. So uh, at first I thought it was a Remy Latour brand because some of the Remy Latour brands actually use that can quite a bit on all their different fragrances. Uh, so again, I didn't dig deep into this fragrance. Uh, the point of the video is just tell you guys whether I like it or not, and you know, not to give you all the information available. It's just another, again, remember guys, sometimes I get comments that are like, oh, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. It, it's just a tool to help you guys make a good educated decision. As a grown adult, you should be able to take a little bit from everybody and see, make the best decision for you. For me, I love this fragrance, okay? So, uh, so what do I get when I smell it? Let me just refresh again. My office is just reeking like clone. So I definitely get the mintedness. I get the florals, I get the freshness. There's like a, a woody, sharp freshness that I get with this, but definitely you can really smell the floral notes in this. And so just right off for Grantica, what they have uh, pointed out with the notes here, and what other people smell, again, in your top notes, mandarin orange, mint, and orange blossom. I definitely get that those citrus notes, that sharp citrusy notes uh, right in the top note. But the mint, I would say, is not, like mint isn't really strong anyway. Like when you think of mint, like peppermint, like gum, it doesn't have that kind of vibe to it. It's very subtle to me. And I think that you have a combination of that orange and that mint, which kind of like creates its own, its own thing, right? Uh, so as far as the middle notes, this is where I get a lot of uh, the, the scent on this fragrance, the geranium, uh, the rose, and the jasmine. Now on the bottle, they didn't mention uh, rose. They, they mentioned uh, lavender, geranium, and nutmeg. So I'm not really sure why for granted it has uh, the note pyramid incorrect on this. Usually they're pretty good about it, but I don't know. Maybe they, I'm not sure where they got this information from. Uh, again, the base notes, you have sandalwood, you have musk, and you have amber. Uh, and then on the bottle, you have sandalwood, cedar, and oak moss. So I'm not really sure uh, why Fragrantica has the notes listed incorrectly. Um, I'd always want to, you know, and Fragrantica is a great website for information, but I'd always want to go off the bottle because that's what the company has put on uh, as far as the notes. Now, I know some of you might be saying, oh, well, they put down uh, main notes according to votes. Uh, I read you the perfume pyramid, so, and that's a whole other uh, breakdown here where people will basically rate what they smell. Again, everybody kind of smells something different. So I can only, again, give you guys uh, what I think about it, whether it's something I like, whether it's something I will buy again. Um, I love, so you're aware, I, if you haven't watched me before, I love fragrances that are woody. I'm a huge fan of woody fragrances. And I'm a rose guy. Like, I love rose fragrances. Uh, what I like about this is you get a lot of that wood and you get a lot of that rose and that mint. And so, you know, when I smell this as far as those notes, um, I don't get a blast of orange. Like, this isn't to me... Some people may look at this and say, oh, you get that orange blossom, it's going to be somewhat fruity. It's not. It's very minty. It's very florally, if that's a word. And uh, you definitely get those woods in this. Um... 
it's a great fragrance, guys. I mean, that's really the best that I can, I can, the best way to describe this. Um, I think that if you are a guy who enjoys inexpensive cheapies, you're gonna love this. And what I do encourage you guys to do is before you, you know, before you make a decision, uh, even though it's only 20 bucks, come on. Um, I think it's something that you know, check out the other guys. Uh, check out Fragrantica. There's, you know, several people have listed on here uh, what they get. It's got pretty good. One guy just said here, opens with a fresh herbal citrus shot of mandarin and mint. Um, I always have to laugh sometimes with breakdowns. But remember, they are tools to just kind of help you uh, because a lot of times, you know, I don't get, you know, I just basically do I like it or not. What are some of the main things I get? I don't have this kind of elaborate uh, first I get this. It's not a story for me. It doesn't, I always find fragrances, they do change. Uh, but I don't find, and, I, and don't come back and be like, oh, well, it's because it's an inexpensive fragrance. I have many fragrances that are expensive, and I just don't get this real, like, journey. You know, I, I, I just can't, my nose isn't sharp enough to really pick those things out and to detect the change. Uh, and honestly, I don't really think about it all that much. Uh, I wear it, I like it, I enjoy it, show it off. You know, hey, you like this? I get a lot of compliments on it. And I think you guys will like this, but this guy did say, uh, highlights coming, uh, nice shot of mandarin mint with highlights coming from a real nice orange blossom. You know, it's very easy to read, to read the, the, uh, the label and then create a story, you know. Uh, and I think that's what a lot of people do. I don't think that if you didn't give somebody the notes and say, what do you smell? Um, it's very difficult for at least me to determine what I'm smelling. Again, main things, I always try to pick three. You know, what are the three notes that I kind of find in a fragrance or that I smell? Again, with this, I get mint. I get floral. Uh, we won't break it down to exactly, I, I can't really pinpoint exactly the flower, but you get a floral note and you definitely get wood. So uh, other ones that you're gonna smell out there, like you might get, you know, like like when I smell, just give me an example, like Creativentus, I get smoke and I get pineapple. That's it, that's all I get from it. I love it, don't get me wrong, but I'm not, uh, I can't, my nose isn't skilled enough to really break it all down for you or write this big journey, this big story. Uh, I can only give you guys just an average dude's perspective. Uh, do I like it? Yeah or nay, real simple, right? Probably why I've never been a really good writer at all. <laughs> I'm kind of to the point, cut and dry kind of guy. Uh, but anyway, let me just read you the rest of it for those of you who like story time. Uh, it says here, uh, okay, the mint isn't a breath mint kind of mint, which I definitely agree with. This is a growing in your garden herbal mint. Uh, it evolves into a floral bouquet. I can definitely attest to that. Uh, that is masculine yet sensitive due to the nicely balanced jasmine note with a bit of edge light coming from geranium. Uh, rose in the back, rose in the background, but not quite center stage, which doesn't make any sense because there's no rose in it. So uh, take it for what it is. Again, I think these, sometimes these things are people who read the notes and then... Uh, create a story for you guys but um, anyway you know putting all that aside definitely check them out I think it's a fantastic fragrance I think it's something that again if you like fragrances like and I'm not trying to make a comparison here for you guys to say oh well it smells like this or that it doesn't smell like anything that I've smelled it doesn't smell like anything that reminds me of any other fragrance uh, and I have that with some you know uh, but again with this I think if you like, if you're a guy who is kind of dressy, likes to wear dress clothes, button up shirts, uh, you know, it takes a little bit of a, a, you know, pride in, I guess, how you look. I think this is a nice, sophisticated fragrance. And I think that honestly, um, if you're wearing this, this does not smell in $20. This definitely smells something more sophisticated and, um, and just kind of, um, very classy. Just something, there's a class about this fragrance. Uh, I could see, like, uh, if I have to paint the picture for you, you know, tr kind of nice uh, wool coat, um, you know, pea coat kind of style, dress slacks, button up shirt, nice sweater, nice cold, maybe like a New York cold uh, winter day, little snow falling, walking out, getting, you know, a drink with the one you love, some, some bullshit like that, right? Um, it's an awesome fragrance, bottom line. I think you guys will love it. If you do get it, please use my link. Let me know what you guys think when you get it. I love hearing back from you guys when I do fragrance reviews. Part of the, the reason I do fragrance reviews is to hear back and get different perspectives uh, for other people as well. But for me, uh, I love hearing what you guys think about the fragrance by dropping me a comment in the comment section. So anyway, guys, uh, fascinable. Now I know I'm saying that right, 80% right, uh, because I did check that out. Everybody else on YouTube saying it wrong to the best of my uh, my understanding. So fascinable.
Fastenal Blue. It's almost like Fastenal Blue. Fastenal Blue by Fastenal Blue. Check it out. $19.99. Shipped to your door. Link is in the description. Let me know what you guys think. So, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, this probably won't last me long. Oh, one more thing. Let me close on. For, this fragrance does change. It. Some guys have said five hours. No way. Uh, this fragrance, I've put already like nine sprays on today. Uh, I mean, douse myself with this stuff. And although I smell it, for nine sprays, some fragrances will be very overbearing. Um, I smell good. It's not overbearing. I don't have a headache. I'm not getting na nauseous by it. Um, you know, and what I do notice is that with this fragrance, that first kind of like when you spray it on, that first kind of blast you get, which reminds me of that kind of like that barbershop vibe, that, um, that, and I think what I'm, and I can't, again, I'm sorry, I can't really pinpoint exactly what I'm getting, but that vibe, that like men's barbershop vibe I get right off the bat, uh, that dissipates pretty fast. Uh, then it just becomes a woody floral. So that initial blast, and again, you guys drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think that initial blast is. Um, it does change rather quickly, and this is something that you probably want to carry with you if you're going to be going out at night in the town or whatever the hell you may do. Um, it's something that I think uh, if I was going to wear this and I knew I was going on a date or going out to a dinner party or some bullshit that I never freaking want to do, um, I would say that bring this with you and refresh yourself uh, because it, it definitely does change. Uh, I don't think you're going to get five hours out. Will you still smell it a little bit? Yeah, you, you will. I mean, it's not going to completely go away, but I can find myself after like three hours of wearing this, two hours, three hours, and I'll like rub my neck and smell my hand. Um, it's It's definitely lost a lot of its potency. But what do you expect? $20, that's the difference with a lot of these fragrances that are inexpensive. They don't have the projection. They don't have the longevity you're going to get with an ex more of expensive oily fragrance. But uh, if you want to compare it to fragrances like, you know, any of your mainstream name brand fragrances like Sauvage, all the different ones, um, it's not quite as strong, doesn't quite quite as last as long, but it's pretty close. And for the money, it's a great buy. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Um, also subscribe to... Uh, Fragrant Juice with a PH. Uh, it's my second channel or third channel. I'm trying to slowly build. You'll find more fragrance reviews on that channel eventually. Uh, but subscribe, be in the know for once I start building it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day and take care.